<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to day number 10 of Stories with Santa. <laughs> now, let's see what story we get today. 10, 10, 10. Oh, 10 is behind a little Christmas tree. Oh, and today's story is the Frog Prince. <laughs> Princess Poppy was furious. I won't sit beside Prince Humperdinck, she said. He's smelly and smug and slimier than a frog. It's just for one dinner, said her mother. I don't care, said Poppy. I'd rather eat my toenails than sit next to him. I'm going outside, she snapped. As long as you're back in time to change before dinner, said the king. Ha, said Poppy, and she stomped into the garden with her golden ball. Poppy was so cross, she didn't see the wobbly stone. She wibbled, she wobbled, she slipped and fell splat, face first into the pond. Her golden ball plopped into the water. Help, I'm in big trouble now, wailed Poppy. Oh no, you're not, croaked a frog. I can help you. But in return, said the frog, I want to live in your palace, eat from your plate and sleep on your silk pillow. In your dreams, thought Poppy. But out loud she said, I promise. As soon as the frog gave Poppy her ball, she raced back to the palace. Poppy arrived just in time for dinner. The only seat left was beside Prince Humperdinck, who smelled like cabbage. Then, to Poppy's horror, she heard a splat, 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 and in hopped the frog. Excuse me, said the frog. Princess Poppy promised I could stay with her. Princesses, don't break promises, said the king. The frog is our guest. Thank you, said the frog, diving into Poppy's soup. Now, said the frog, when he'd slurped up all the soup, time for bed. Oh no, said Poppy, you're not coming anywhere near my bedroom. Princes don't break promises repeated the king. So Princess Poppy picked up the frog and dropped him in the darkest, most distant corner of her room. But Princess Poppy, said the frog, you promised I could have your bed. I've had enough, snapped Princess Poppy. You're the meanest, most horrible frog I've ever met. And with that, she threw the frog out the window. There was a long silence followed by a splat. Oh no, thought Poppy, what have I done? She rushed outside and picked up the frog as gently as she could. I'm so sorry, said Poppy, and she bent down and kissed him. There was a mighty crash, followed by a deafening bang, and in the place of the frog stood a handsome prince. How can I ever thank you? The prince began. I was under a spell, and... What is going on? growled Prince Humperdinck. All this noise is disturbing my beauty sleep. This is the frog, said Poppy. Um, this, this, this was the frog. He was so annoying that I was not, said the prince. You are both annoying me, said Prince Humperdinck. Maybe I was a little annoying, said the prince. Thank you for rescuing me, Princess Poppy. Friends? Friends, said Princess Poppy. They became such good friends that when they grew up, they got married and lived happily ever after. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. Join me again tomorrow for another Story with Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ho 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 ho